Hey everyone, Church of SF here. Little video, I was watching a uh, Young Turks video, and Cenk was talking about how Ron Paul has been doing well in the polls, uh, comparable to Newt Gingrich, um, and he was basically, the whole video was almost uh, an endorsement of Ron Paul, um, possibly even against uh, against Obama, since Cenk is very disappointed with Obama. Aren't most of us on the uh, kind of hard left? Yes, we are. Um, but... And Cenk in the video says he agrees with Ron Paul on 50%, he very much disagrees with him on 50%, but it may be Ron Paul is the best option. And uh, Cenk in that video, he says something along the lines of, um, well, he won't get the, his crazy ideas passed anyways. I'm going to guess by crazy ideas he means the flat tax, he means, um, he means like leaving very, very important issues of uh, racial discrimination and abortion and so on up to states. I'm guessing he means uh, the basic abolishment of the or severe curtailing of the Environmental Protection Agency and consumer protection and the uh, abolishing of the Department of Education. I'm guessing he means those things, right? He thinks that those aren't going to get passed anyways. So Ron Paul, as president, is going to sit back and just, you know, do foreign policy stuff and get rid of some corruption, the stuff that Cenk likes. That's a very dangerous attitude, especially in dangerous, tumultuous times like today. Uh, given that the world is in crisis, people are, I think, starting to be more open towards radical um, alternatives. Um, and to say, well, he's not going to, you know, as the most powerful person in the world, he's not going to have a big pull and a big kind of uh, platform to steer things his way and convince people of his ideas. That's very risky. I think if you're going to back Ron Paul, you're going to need to back all of his ideas, especially the ones that he's most passionate about, which happen to be those crazy ideas, according to uh, Cenk. And um, those ideas, to me, are extremely dangerous. Uh, the flat tax idea, the idea of the abolishing or, like, basically destroying the public education system, um, of re removing consumer protection, essentially. These are things that, to me, they should strike fear in the hearts of people. They're terrible ideas. They're ideas that uh, may well establish uh, this kind of semi, this neo-feudal society to an extent that we haven't seen before. Um, you know, it, it doesn't matter if, if Ron Paul wants to cut some subsidies and remove some regulation. I mean, unless you really believe that having a lot of capital isn't a source of power in itself. If you believe that having a lot of capital isn't actually a source of power, um, then it's probably fine because he'll unleash the free market and everything will be dandy. If you, like I do, believe that capital in itself is power, and the people with a lot of capital are going to have a lot of power in this new world that is going to be increasingly um, run by the free market and the corp the supposedly free market, the market and the corporations that make up a lot of that market and the corporations that are definitely the biggest fish in that market. Well, if you believe that that power is real, then you might think that's a problem. And I'm going to, you know, there's uh, Noam Chomsky. He refers to himself as a fellow traveler of left libertarians and anarchists. Um, and I love that term, and I guess that's probably kind of maybe somewhere where I fit in, because I'm, I, you know, I probably wouldn't call myself either of those things, but I have a lot of sympathy for a lot of the ideas. But one thing he actually, I heard um, he said in one interview or talk was, we need to actually right now strengthen the state, because the state is far the lesser of two evils. We have control over the state. Yes, people can distort and people can convince people to vote against their interests, but at least we have control over it to some extent. We don't have any control over corporations. 
we don't have any control over what goes on on this supposedly free market. Um, not really. You can vote with your with your pocketbook, but when 50% of the wealth uh, is in the hands of 1%, then voting with your pocketbook becomes a pretty one-sided vote. It actually becomes much like the vote of yesteryear where people that had a lot of property actually got more votes for politicians than people without property. Um, so that's, that's the huge risk. I think in this environment, um, cutting down on the size of government, when we've unleashed the power, the monopoly on power, of these corporations and their leaders would be a catastrophe. And that is, the, that is a catastrophe that Ron Paul stands behind and backs in many ways. Um, I, don't, I don't think he, any of his policies will do anything really to limit that. Um, I think that this, this, you know, the U.S. is in some ways overregulated when it comes to regulation concerning various aspects of uh, business and so on. Um, it's underregulated in other aspects. Um, watch Anubis's video uh, on Ron Paul and some issues surrounding that. It's very good. But, it, yes, that, that might be something to address. That might be something where corporations are having undue influence over politicians. But if you think that that's really the only thing that's keeping the market from providing this perfect kind of utopia and from not allowing corporations any more power I guess that's you know that's your that's your freedom of uh, you know you're free to believe what you want but I'm actually the idea of a Ron Paul presidency worries me far more um, than almost any other outcome of the next election including I think it's far less worrying to me personally because I don't think that, you know, to have a Romney presidency or a Gingrich presidency, both guys I think are terrible and would have be, would be terrible presidents. But I don't think that they would actually be as potentially damaging as a Ron Paul presidency. Um, and Ron Paul may have the best of intentions while he does this, but I would be deeply worried, and I know a lot of you will disagree with me on that, but the more people start to endorse Ron Paul in the US, the more worried I get.